We're talking with Charlie Geach. He's with Pasco. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Tim. Hey, I've known you for a long time. Yeah. So Pasco isn't your real job, but uh, you've been associated with them uh, yes. for quite a few years. Exactly. So. You were showing me like one of the way coolest things that Pasco has ever come out with, and it's called their AirLink. Can you demonstrate it? Yeah. Here's a there's a, a Bluetooth device called the AirLink. Okay. And I've got a temperature sensor attached to it. Okay. So how does it work? How does the sensor? So the AirLink is actually. This one side, the right-hand side right. there, and then the probes are the left-hand side. That's right, and, and so I've got a temperature sensor. This is called a quick response temperature sensor. Just the little end piece there is the, okay. the working part of it. Okay, so we got a Bluetooth, Bluetooth. sensor. Okay, mm -hmm. and so what do we got here? Now and you got your now iPhone. I got my iPhone with the app on it, which is called the SparkView app. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is just simply push the start button, which is here. Okay. And we're going to start collecting some temperature. Now I'm going to put it between my fingers. Okay, you got your, the probe is between so your fingers. So you can see now that the temperature is going up and it's auto scaling so that, you know, it keeps it within the temperature range, which is, looks like about 25 degrees. Let's see if we can get it really to jump up here. Let me put it by the fan of the of the, um, the LCD, projector, LCD yeah. projector. Actually, it's, it's blowing the cool air side out. <laughs> So we're getting that's the opposite actually, effect. That's kind of cool. So actually. let's put it in front. Let's see. No, I don't. Yeah. Okay, so here. Yeah, now we got it in the light section, and so you can see it is going back up again. Okay, because the probe is in front of the light, and right. that's always really hot. Yes. Okay, so this works on an iPhone. Does iPhone. it also work on an iPod Touch? Yes, iPod Touch. Okay. And iPhones, yes, they have an app for both of those. Now. And so they have more than just a. a temperature sensor I take it what else do they have oh any any of the sensors or just about any sensor that Pasco sells as long as you can hook it up to this connection uh, has this particular connection you right can, you can make it work so they have motion sensors motion, yes. uh, motion even uh, heart rates uh, uh, humidity humidity uh, all, 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 all the ones gamut of sensors. I mean, there's thousands of different types of sensors that they Okay, that, that's actually pretty cool. So now what do you do? What, once you have the data on the iPhone, how do you get it off of the iPhone and into like a usable... Well, you can actually, it, it does have that, let me stop it here, and then what we can do is we're able to email it, well, I'm sorry, you can do notes, but then we can email... Okay. The data is a zip file, a CSV file, or, or, okay. So or, it's sending or, it as like a like a spreadsheet. That's right. So you you would just send it then to your computer or your you know email account or whatever, and, and they can and start you, playing with it there. Manipulate that's it. That's cool. What kind of prices are we talking about here for these? Uh, well, the, the well, of course the they're free. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, the, the uh, I believe the AirLink is about 150 bucks, okay. and then the temperature sensor is about 79. Bucks. Right, and different sensors cost different prices because right. yeah, some yeah, of them are a little right. bit some more complicated. Some are more advanced and a lot more too. So, but yeah, this is just a simple, straightforward one. So that's about the, the price range. Okay, Charlie, if they're interested in learning a little bit more about the Pasco AirLink 2 uh, Bluetooth sensor, where do they go to? www.pasco.com. <laughs> Pasco.com. Hey, thanks for talking to us, Charlie. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Tim.